Hi, we have just installed Polybar with uh, Build It, so Packer uh, Polybar or Yahoo S and Polybar. And then we've also installed the Arch Merge Polybar Kit. So that's done. That's another tutorial. That's the installation phase. Now we're going to activate uh, Polybar in i3. So we're going to log out because this was XFCE. We go inside i3. And this is our standard look in i3. Configuration file is one of many years, so it's okay, let's say. And we have here already some things open. We've been adding some folders. What we're going to need normally is the .config folder. Lots of things are in here. This is what makes Arch Merge Arch Merge. This is all specific, it's all been tweaked. What we need now is i3, so the folder i3 and Polybar will need it later on. But how to activate Polybar on i3? That's the goal of the tutorial. We go into this file, right mouse click, open with, open with another application, use Atom, follow the advice, you'll be happy you did, and then you open it. If you go to Workspace 2, then you see that you have here a folder. Every file in i3 is here, just clickable, just change it, and everything is here. You can scroll to make it bigger and so on, and I'll show you some nice packages we can install later on as well. But we need to find Control Find Polybar. And see, I don't have my screen key activated, and that's quite an interesting tool if you're working on i3. So find. Okay, we have here a polybar. If we need, if you want to have a polybar, we need to get rid of this hashtag and save it again. In the meantime, I see that this conky is there. Let's get rid of this conky. If you know i3, then you don't need this conky. It's just extra. So I'm going to get rid of that one and save it as well. So polybar. Next time I install this, I, I, I run this, it will have a code, well, um, maybe some explanation. There are, there might be different versions around because of um, timing, you know. So we have changed this line to exec underscore always. No stop startup ID, it was twice in there. So if you see differences in your file, this is the exact code you need to have. So execute me always the launch bar from Polybar. That's what it says. That's what you need. Then you go to Super X. You log out, log back in, and then you will see two things. We have on the top the polybar that's activated with some modules. Let's call them with their names already, modules. And down here we have the standard uh, bar that's still available. And the system icons have been put at the bottom, not at the top. Okay, um, then you start maybe changing things in the polybar. So the polybar is in here. This is polybar, right mouse click, open with, and again, tell them to open with Atom. And you see that this is a file of, I don't know, thousand lines or more, all about the polybar configuration. So you start to change the colors and the fonts and things like that. It's 1400. So, okay, we have a configuration file we have to explain in the videos. But at some point in time, you say everything is okay. I like my polybar, but I want to get rid of the bottom now because that was sort of an insurance plan. So if you make a mistake in the polybar conf, it often results in no bar at all. So you don't have any bar. So if everything is just working just fine, you can get rid of the bottom bar. And that's this line from here till all the way up. So they can't both be there. Well, specifically not if you want the system icons to be on top. So if you delete this one, save it, super X log out and get back in. It's just one bar that rules everything and is the polybar on top and the system icons down here. So that's it. This was the objective of the video, how to activate polybar. And you can have two things, one bar and one bar at the bottom, or just one bar.
polybar at the top or at the bottom if you want but that's to change in the configuration of polybar itself okay